is chilling. Wait, what did she say? These are the Rice Krispie treats that I made yesterday. How is she, wait a minute, I'm, these, these, these elves are something special. What does her note say? Wish I was in Hawaii. Greetings, Coco Bella. What? Oh my goodness, she is sitting here relaxing while I have all this housework to do. Can you guys believe these elves? I just cannot believe them. Oh my goodness, it must be nice. That's all I gotta say, it must be nice. Hey guys, welcome to day five of Grinchmas and Day five of Grinchmas is me starting off with folding up <laughs> these dish towels for my kitchen. I have what's called a, what is it called? The speed wash? I think it's called the speed wash on the washing machine dryer. And it's like 15 minutes, literally. And I washed all of these. And then I washed my fall blankets because why? It's December now. It's time for me to get all this stuff all cozied up. I'm going to show you guys the blankets that I have out now. And I'm going to show you guys... Um, the one that I'm putting away. So stay tuned. Hey guys, so I just went and decided to just go ahead and fold all these up. So just to show you guys kind of what I have going on in my kitchen. These are the ones that go in my kitchen just all year long. I have small accents of red in my kitchen. I don't know how that happened. I always say that to people. I say it online all the time. I don't know how little small accents of red happened in my kitchen. You guys know in my kitchen, I have these two pillows in here and then I have that rug over there, the rug under the table. And then I had some red pillow cushions at my island bar, but I do have some plates and stuff. You guys have seen kind of the plates over there. And then my dining room also has a lot of red uh, table decor. I don't know how that happened. Red's not even one of my favorite colors, not at all, but it just happens to be like, it, it's just like a good color. It goes with everything throughout the year, especially with like Christmas and then you have Valentine's Day, then you have red, white, and blue. It's like, it just goes with everything. So it just kind of became our color. One day I'll probably change things out. I don't know when. It's like when you spend like a lot of money and a lot of expensive furniture pieces, you just kind of like, mm, I don't know when I'm going to switch those out because it is expensive to switch the design up you might want to have to paint the rooms and you know just do a lot of different things so it's kind of tricky to you know switch things up like that so you just have to be careful um over here I do have these two um dish towels these are two that are staple for my kitchen as well I do wash my dish towels in my kitchen once a week I pretty much use dish towels to pretty much go you know what I'm saying on my counters and stuff I have the chef you remember back in the day guys remember the chef was like something that you had on your kitchen counter I had a chef on my kitchen counter with like the little candle on top and yeah, he, he, he's gone now. He's no longer with us. He is in my cabinet though. The big chef that was sitting on the counter, but you guys remember when the chef was like a big thing. That's how you decorated your kitchen. If you guys remember this chef style, let me know down in the comments. If you, if you guys remember this, let me know down in the comments. If you guys remember the chef decor in the way that people used to decorate with the chef. Um, this dish towel set is super old, but I still use it. It's still like a classic. It says good food, good wine, good life. This is still out. I don't know why he's still out, to be honest with you. I don't really use him. I'm usually going back and forth between like whatever my decorative season is. And then these are just some red ones that I picked up at Dollar Tree. I have heard a lot of um, Dollar Tree influencers and people that shop at Dollar Tree, basically the Dollar Tree influencers, pretty much saying that the Dollar Tree... Um, mitts are not safe the pot holders which are these and then the mitt which is the one that goes in your hand are not that safe so if you guys are going to ask me what do i think they're telling the truth they are actually not very safe to use with like thick hot items that you're getting out of the oven if you get if you're getting something really small out of the oven and it's like quick, like say if you're taking out a brownie or a thing of cornbread or something. But if you're getting like a glass lasagna out or like a pasta bake or something that's like you're going to be holding it for a few minutes, you might want to second guess if you want to use one of those. I will tell you guys, they're not thick enough. I don't know why they're not thick enough, but they're just not. So just be mindful of that if you do buy them from Dollar Tree. I mean, they're more so a decorative item, but I know a lot of times we want to buy things because we want to use it, even if it's for like seasonal. But I definitely recommend that. You know, if you do decide to use them, which I still do, just be careful and just know that if you're holding something for a really long time, you could possibly burn yourself. So let's go ahead and jump into these blankets so I can show you guys what I have out and kind of go from there. Okay, so here's the blanket that I'm actually putting away. This is the one I've been using for the last couple of days, but I have some other ones that are Christmas inspired and they are out. So I'm going to actually put this one away. But I, I haven't washed it yet. I think I'm going to wash it probably in the, probably tomorrow or either Monday I'll wash it. 
and put it back under the cabinet and then move the other fall ones that are in my washroom that are clean that I have not used recently. So I need to store all those away and just kind of go into my Christmas ones. I feel like in January, like mid January or the beginning of January, even I'll probably go into like my Valentine's day ones. I have to see which ones I have for Valentine's day guys. I have to look and see though. Okay. So blankets I have out right now are the Hello Kitty. And then I have out the Snoopy. So I just washed these. This one right here, the, both of these are brand new. So this one is the one that everybody was looking for for, um, for Christmas with the red Hello Kitty. There's also a mug that looks like that. I have not found it. I'm fine with it. I don't have to have it. I'm, I'm like, I like Hello Kitty, don't get me wrong, but I'm not like Hello Kitty crazy. If I find some of her items and I think they're cute, then I'll pick it up. But it's like, it's not that big of a deal for me. This blanket was $16.99 from, I believe Marshall's I found it. Yeah, Marshall's. And then this one was also from Marshall's. If you guys follow me on Instagram, I found this one back in like September, kid you not. And I was like, it said pet blanket. So I was like, pet blanket i'm like is this really a blanket for a pet it's a really huge oversized snoopy blanket i will definitely tell you i have an oversized um chocolate santa one that's blue from last year from target and it has like a chocolate mr and mrs claus on it and it's super cute but it's blue which i thought was kind of interesting that's why i purchased it but it's oversized but this one is really oversized like this one you could pretty much almost sit like two people in there it's crazy because it's super oversized. The blanket that I have over here on the couch right now, because my daughter was snuggling up on the couch earlier, is this one. This one is not one of my favorites. And I don't know how, somehow it got caught up with my um, decor from last year. I guess some of the stuff that we brought out of my storage, it was like wrapped up in there. This one kind of has that like velvety kind of finish, but I'm okay with this blanket because I feel like it's like a throw blanket for my family. To be honest with you, the Hello Kitty and the Snoopy one is pretty much for me. My daughter, nine times out of 10, she's gonna cozy up to the white one. I don't want her to mess with my blankets if I'm being honest with you. Are you guys like that too? Like with your decorative stuff? It's like, I don't mind sharing stuff with my family, like my cocoa bar and my coffee bar and stuff. Of course, it's all my stuff, but I don't mind sharing with my family. There's cookies and sprinkles and hot cocoa and straws and stirs and all that, that kind of good stuff. As long as they put stuff back and as long as they don't mess with like my Ray Dunn stuff, I don't want them messing with my measuring cups, my coffee mugs and stuff like that because they all have their own done mugs and stuff that I've purchased for all of them for every single season just about. So it's like you have your own stuff, so don't mess with mine. They're pretty good about not messing with my stuff. I feel like when I have company, I had a friend of mine over, you guys remember a couple days ago on my daughter's birthday, her daughter was over here. Her daughter knocked down my, my Minnie Mouse um, greeter in my hallway by my staircase. You guys know where I have the lights at, um, by the staircase where the garland is. And then she was in my kitchen. She knocked over my gingerbread man that's at the island. You know, just kids. You know, it's like, I love kids and I miss having little bitty kids, but kids are bad. Aren't they bad? Like they just, and, and the thing is, they're just like, they're just like curious. They're very curious. So like my house is so busy with all these lights and I have all this fun stuff going on. And, you know, it looks like a little candy shop because I got candy and jars and cookies and, you know, it looks like Mrs. Claus's house. So it's like, of course... If I was at Mrs. Claus's house, I'd probably be touching stuff too. So I get it. But you also don't really want, you know, your stuff to be broken. And, you know, you're just, I'm just not used to it. I'm used to just like my older kids that don't really do a whole lot of stuff. They might consume a lot of stuff. Like they'll drink a lot of my coffee up or my creamer or they'll do this or do that. That's just kind of how it is. But it's, I'm not really used to having kids in my house anymore, like little kids. So it's just like, oh, when are you going home? Right. Because it's like, I, I feel like I always have to clean up and I feel like I have to like always replay stuff and refill things when I have company. And it's just a lot when you have company in general. So I don't know if you guys feel where I'm coming from. Let me know down in the comments. OK, so on day five of Grinchmas, I'm just pretty much going to share with you guys. This is my hallway decor that I did. I'm going to show you guys the actual hot cocoa today that I'm going to be actually indulging in. But I wanted to show you guys, this is pretty much the area that's in my hallway. It's super cute. I love it. But I'm still constantly tweaking this area because I feel like I'm constantly like pulling this down and trying to get it nice and neat. I think that later on, I'm going to try to, you know, pull it down some more and try to get, you know, get it nice and neat. Um, if you guys see areas that's kind of like dark and light in my video, it's very early morning. My daughter just got to, ready for school. She's off to school this morning, so I decided to come on and just go ahead and do my video so that I can post the video for you guys. So I did come on this morning. This is my hallway. My husband had this extremely bright light in here, so it makes it seem like it's like a super bright day, but it's actually very early in the morning. 
and I uh, just wanted to come on so I can, you know, prepare my video and have it ready to share with you guys. Now, if you guys saw a video or two ago, if you guys are following, like I said, it's just like pretty much, a, pretty much like a series, like it's like a continual series in a way. So you guys may have seen a clip of me saying that I added these lights a video or two ago, I want to say. I want to say it was, ooh, it was either day three or four. I'll have to go back and look. It was either day three or four that I did say that I added these string lights. So these lights right here, these are like these gigantic bulbs and these were actually from Bullseye last year. I purchased them and they were pastel and last year was pastel. You guys know every year is like a different vibe for people. I think a lot of stuff in the Bullseye at Target this year for 2023 was pink and then they kind of moved into like colorful stuff. If you guys noticed, they kind of started off with that. If you're an avid Target shopper, you know what I'm talking about. Um, they started off with a lot of like pink mist stuff and I was a little bit nervous. I love the pink ones, don't get me wrong, but I was like, where's the reds, the greens, and the whites? I need that. I need the glitter. I need the traditional colors because I'm a traditional color decorator in my house anyway. I do like the pink. Like I love this gingerbread house that I bought at Marshall's. This thing is amazing. I love it. It was like $29.99, which is pretty expensive. There was a gingerbread bus as well, and I missed out on that one, but I really wanted that one too. It's so, so cute. And then, of course, the Target building is really cute. I did turn it off because it has like the little battery light, and I don't know if I'm gonna be able to find it or not, so I don't have that one going that much. And then if you guys see Spot on top, he's actually one of the little items that was found at Target in the summertime. He was an item that came with a little surfboard and I was not able to find him. So I had another friend here in the space. She was able to find it for me and I haven't just been decorating with him for every single season. You'll see him somewhere for every holiday. You'll see him for Valentine's Day, Easter, Christmas, um, Thanksgiving, fall. Uh, you know, you'll see him for everything, Halloween, all that good stuff. So right now, this is pretty much how it's looking. I really didn't switch too many other things. I did add some more lights. I may add another thing of lights or so, but it does look really pretty with the, the current lights that are here. Like I said, this string light set right here, I want to say this one was like either three or five dollars. I took it out the pack today. I didn't even pay attention to look at it. My bad. But this one is really pretty. I picked it up last year. It's brand new out of the pack today. Um, not today, but you know, it's out of the pack now from last year. And this is how it looks on here. You can see the little trees in there. And then you can see over here. You can see the blue in there. And then over here, you can see pretty much like that color. It's just really, 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 really nice. And I'm happy about it. I'm happy about this whole thing. So yeah, so I just wanted to share that with you guys. Let me turn this light out so you guys can see it again. I'm sure you guys have seen it in my other videos, but to see it gives you like the darkness again, but it looks super nice. I just have to pull, if you guys can see right there, I need to pull this out some because you can see the counter. So I'm going to play around with this a little bit later on and uh, I'll probably play with this a little bit more, but let's go ahead and jump into this hot cocoa and see what hot cocoa we're getting into for day five. Okay guys, so here is my hot cocoa. I'm going to use the extra creamy whip topping and I'm just going to put some on top of there like that. I'm just going to put a little bit on there and then I'm going to take my sprinkles. These are the holiday sprinkles. These sprinkles are actually from, I think one of my last videos, I said those sprinkles were from um, Hobby Lobby. I think I got these sprinkles from, ooh, I don't know where those sprinkles are from, you guys. That's a hot mess. But anyways, <laughs> there is the mug, the Grinch mug with the stir. It's just turned the other way. And I'm just gonna add the little marshmallow friend right there. And that's pretty much how that looks. And this is the day five hot cocoa milk chocolate flavor, which of course, I mean, you can never go wrong with milk chocolate, right? Anyway, guys, have a wonderful day. I hope you guys enjoyed the short video of Grinchmas day five. Have a good one once again. Bye. Okay, guys. So I decided to go ahead and share with you guys what I'm doing for dinner today. Oh my gosh. Day five. I can't believe today is day five already. Um, I'm doing dinner, so it's nighttime now, if you guys can imagine. I'm a little bit frustrated. Here are the enchiladas. I do two pans of enchiladas when I make enchiladas. That's the small one, because it's just me and the kids eating that tonight. And then I make a big one. They're both the glass Pyrex. The other one in the oven is a small glass Pyrex. This one's the large glass Pyrex. And this glass Pyrex is not baked yet. So I like to bake it before, you know what I'm saying? I like to bake it fresh each day. So that's pretty much how I have that going. That's my mama's, mama's kitchen dish towels in here. Um, over here on the stove, I just have some pinto beans that are brewing. Let me stir those up so you guys can see how they look. 
These are just the ones from the can. I just add a little red hot sauce and a little Cholula. I have those on the counter. I'll show you guys what I'm talking about. If y'all are like, what is she talking about? What's that? And then I decided to go ahead and make some um, hot rice. How I make my hot rice, I use three cups of white rice. And I put a little bit of butter in there. And I'm just waiting for the water to boil. It's like super last minute. On the rice, because I was just going to do the beans, the tortilla chips, a little bit of guacamole, and then the enchiladas, which are almost done, as you guys saw. Um, this is for the rice. And so this is the Frank's Red Hot Sauce and the actual Cholula Hot Sauce. That's what I use. That's how those look. I'm sure you guys know about Red Hot Sauce. Maybe not everyone knows about Cholula. Let me know if you guys use Red Hot Sauce and Cholula for anything to maybe put on your meats, your um, vegetables, or whatever. It's really, really good. Um, and then I have this water that's starting to boil, so we can have dinner tonight. Um, it's almost eight o'clock tonight, guys. It was a long day, long day, long day today, long day. So I got that going, but I just whipped up a little bit of guacamole in here. And then you guys remember the cupcakes from the weekend. Yes. The cupcakes from the weekend are still rolling through. So I'm probably going to eat one of these today. I did only have one, but they're still rolling through. As you guys can see, you know, obviously two of them were eaten. And that's it because I made eight. So that means I had one and my husband had one. My kids did not eat any yet. But as you guys can see, I did good on these cupcakes. You guys, look how adorable these are. Like, these are like the perfect like size. They're not real big. I do like to usually make a cupcake with a like nice little muffin top, as I call it, which is the very nice size at the top. But these are perfect because this is like a perfect mouthful for you to eat. It's like you can just you can bite this in a couple bites and it's gone. You know what I'm saying? If you're like the cookie monster or the cupcake monster in this in this case, you guys like how the Reynolds wrap and the ketchup is in the background. <laughs> That's a whole mess. But yeah, this is how the cupcakes look. They are just adorable to me. I'm just obsessed with how cute and perfect they are. I told you guys, usually I use my um my cupcake pan, the metal one, and I just spray it with Pam. And then I put my cupcakes in there. And then when they're done, I just pop the cupcakes out of the pan. But this time I actually just put the liners in there, these little liners that I got and there. You just peel them away from the cupcake, which I thought was a good deal because I mean, that's how most bakers make their cupcakes. But I had those in the fridge. I took them out because I definitely want to have one tonight. But don't they look cute right here with the little cupcake tray? But look at all the junk in the background. You guys already know. I have my Christmas tree up. I want to show you guys. Look, you guys can see that the Christmas tree is finally up. But guess what? I still don't have my advent pillow. I, I kid you not. December is going to be, I don't have my advent calendar pillow, uh, which is a countdown pillow. It's not here. I don't have the other pillows to put in the cushion over there so I can put all my teddy bears and stuff up there like I do. Mr. and Mrs. Claus is not in front of the tree. I have the little train. It's like a just a metal train. It doesn't move or anything that I bought from Ross years ago. That's in front of the tree. That's good to go. Um, and then I have to put my little ladder and I have to put my Santa's... Um, bag of presents over there and then put the fireplace on and all the lights and stuff and then i can show you guys everything and then i can hit my uh my christmas light fight type of switch light and share with you guys pretty much how the tree looks but i'm not even ready to do that yet i know it's days in you guys are probably like she's been saying that for the first five days of grinchmas i have but hopefully let, let's hope that we can get this tree lit before the weekend let's let's put that out there i mean it is what it is you guys know sometimes the struggle is real and my struggle is real, but my cupcakes are cute though. So on that note, I will see you guys in the next video. Enjoy the rest of the video. And I just have to insert this clip, but I will talk to you guys later. Bye.